Hey there, Santi here. This is part two of teaching my girlfriend how to use Tana. If you want to learn too, I do recommend you check out part one. And if you want to really speed up your learning, I do recommend you check out my Tana course in the description and comments where you can learn more about it. And it's really gonna help you go really fast through the fundamentals of Tana so that you can catch up to speed and make the most of this amazing app. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. But yeah, okay, so right now we're gonna get into a bit of task management, just setting things up in terms of like just being able to write down tasks and then being able to filter them by project and so on so i'll show you perhaps like the most standard way to do it that is very powerful and like it's gonna blow your mind so in here just write any task that you can think of so buy ingredients for cake mm -hmm. now what you can do is you can do a couple of things if you press ctrl enter that adds a checkbox or command enter in mac yeah i'll take it away yep mm -hmm. there you go okay and if you press that again it checks it off oh that's nice yep so you get the idea right and it just switches between not having a checkbox having a checkbox and clicking it yeah perfect oh. <laughs> so yeah you could add a checkbox but right now actually remove it just to show you something cool well as you can see there's already the todo but we're just gonna call it <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call it hashtag and now maybe let's call it task yeah task. Yeah, right. Task. and then it gives you the option to just create a new one and it's actually gonna create it in your workspace right mm -hmm. so when we click on it it is a new one and you see it has a little whoop, just animation. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So now if you click on this, now you can configure it. You can change the color. Yeah, so as you can see like that already changes the color in here. You can add a little description. So things to do. Yeah, perfect. Look where it goes. It goes to schema. Schema. So we saw that name somewhere like that is in the workspace. I'll just show you real quick just to so that you have a bit of an idea of what's going on. But when you go to Grace, that would help. Yeah, it's because this <laughs> schema thing was very confusing to me. I was like, what? Yeah. What's schema, you know? But if you go to schema, here you have all the tags that are created. And there's some default ones that came with it, like to do there's day, week, and now we have task with the description we just added. So schema is just a list of your mm -hmm. tags? That's it, yep. Why isn't it called tags? Yep, that's a question of the century. <laughs> that is pretty much because it's technically aren't just tags or super tags, you know? So yeah, don't worry about oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> super tags. They're super tags. I tag. apologize. <laughs> that's hilarious. Why is to do got checkbooks? Oh, I was waiting you would ask that. Yeah, perfect. So to do is a default one that just came with like Tana to just use sorry. that. Toto. Toto, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're just creating our own in here just to show you pretty much how it works to add a checkbox. And we just created this, this particular task. We tagged this particular bullet point with the tag task, mm -hmm. right? So what we can configure is that anything that we tag, task is a check, gets a checkbox automatically. So we configure it, we need to go to advance and then click on show us checkbox. So just keep an eye on what happens here the moment that I, I click mm -hmm. that, right? So boom, there it is. That's just as simple as that. It just adds a checkbox. So we can nice. close this for now. Add another task in here. Perfect. Uh-huh. Ah, there you go. Lovely. Exactly. I've got so now a nice day plan. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now you already have two tasks, right? Let's actually go to yesterday. For now, just add any task that let's say you created yesterday as a different task. Yeah, perfect. And tag it the same way as task perfect mm. amazing so now here's a cool thing we just go to today we see that we have two tasks in here and if we go to yesterday we have one task in there mm -hmm. but obviously we're not gonna be scrolling through all the days trying to manually search them right so yeah yeah there's obviously a better way <laughs> right mm -hmm. if you press Control k now you're just gonna type find find notes enter with tag enter task as list enter it look at that it creates a list of every single bullet point across your whole right. workspace mm -hmm. and stack tasks. So as you can see, it brings both of these that were created today and it brings the one that you created yesterday. Yeah. If you zoom into that one, just click in there, a nice filter list of all your tasks. And what you can do is you can rename that. Perfect. So now this list of tasks is searchable. So you could be like anywhere. You could be in your today and you want to see your list of tasks, you can just search it. List of tasks, there it is. And now you have a searchable place where you can see every possible task. Like let's say it's not really useful to have it on today. What you can do is you can drag and drop it into your workspace and you see that uh, your name yeah, changes here. Useful. Yeah, right? So now if you go to Grace... Oh, this is essentially this, the to-dos. Exactly, yeah. That's what to-dos was by default. But now when we just go to your workspace, there's a list of tasks which goes to the sidebar. Because you can tell that the list of tasks isn't a node, it's like a search that mm -hmm. right? you can see from the icon. Yeah, so it the is... Magnifying That's glass. the thing, like it's not technically a normal bullet point, but that's why the term node mm -hmm. is all, everything. So yeah. it is a search node. That's what it's called. A search node. Yeah. 
So yeah, it looks slightly different from others because it is a filter list. Yeah. But that's why the word node can be useful in that context because it is a node. But presumably, if you deleted the list of tasks, mm -hmm. all of the tasks wouldn't get deleted because they're all in different places. Exactly. And that is exactly because these are references. Like that's why it has the dotted the dotted circle. Yeah. It's because not the original is a reference to that one. So awesome. You're doing great, by the way. Thanks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so another task would be like clear up email inbox. That's for work, right? Yeah, I mean, technically we could create another tag and call it work, you know, but I'll just show you that there's something better. You can categorize anything that has any given tag to have more information. So yeah, that's really confusing, but we'll get into it right now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here in task, we can actually configure this. We can go to the settings and we can create a new field. You'll see what that means, but right now we just want to make it fix options. This is pretty much a drop down of options, right? So yeah. that we want to categorize every task, whether it's a personal thing or work thing, right? Cool. So fix options is gonna let us select that and we're just gonna call it area of life. You can name this whatever. Okay, so right in here, you can drop it down and you can see area of life and you could already write personal in here, whatever, but it's better if we have a bit of a drop down, right? So the way that we configure the drop down is by just opening this, expanding it, and here it tells us options that we can have personal and work that's very useful yeah it's really crazy and it's definitely confusing because menu within me menu yeah <laughs> here you have personal or work Ooh, okay and it's just a drop down i never would have found that by myself <laughs> no it's a bit too <laughs> hidden even know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah i'm like that is so extensive and you can like automate this for projects you know like yes yeah, powerful it really does all right so now we have areas of life, this one is personal, and so on. So each one of these is already categorized correctly according to that field. Cool. Now, another cool thing that we can do is we can create projects. So again, I, I, the preferred way that I have is I configure things in here. Yeah. And you can add projects. I actually have the symbol right here just to show. But yeah, if you do the more than symbol and we call it projects, mm -hmm. in here we can configure it if we just click on it, it just kind of expands another yeah and instead of anything we can call it a fixed option right okay, so it's the same again. thing we did previously yeah but in here we can start actually writing projects and there's more advanced ways to kind of like filter anything that has been tagged as a project anywhere that's kind of my preferred way but in here we can just do it here to keep it simple so okay. some projects might be cooking email relax so there we have a couple of projects and we go here we can start assigning them so this one's cooking Oh, and actually this is a good time to show you that there's different views in Tana. So right now we're viewing it as a list, but yeah. it, this definitely will benefit from seeing it as a table. Look at that. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, so now we can just call this one personal. Mm. It's a much better view for things like this instead of having to expand and collapse everything. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, right? Pretty cool. Nice, that's really good. So yeah, so in here we have everything assigned. Mm -hmm. in list and we just created them from this context but again we could create them from anywhere add more tasks from anywhere it would just populate this list as long as, as, long, tasks, as, as, long, as it's tagged task mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so now we go to today we're gonna do it a bit different this time so yeah just follow along just say ctrl k find notes with tag task with field projects that's perfect and let's select cookies right cooking <laughs> yeah as list yeah perfect look Ooh. at that we can zoom into it and that just filters everything that has the field cooking. Yeah. You see? So like that's the power of that. That's lovely. And again, like if we just want it, we can just visualize anything in whatever view we want. So if we can see this as a table, that's really nice. We can even see it as cards. Oh, that's so nice because if you have like ideas about cooking mm -hmm. for example yep. on like loads of different days and then you come to one day and you're like okay i really want to actually cook or bake or whatever exactly right now then you can just be like oh what are all the things i've or got recipes about? yeah exactly yeah. Or like recipes yeah and then they're just all there and you've got loads to choose from exactly mm. and like buy ingredients for cake for instance these are fields underneath it but this still is a normal note so you can write here ingredient three and so on right you can't think of three ingredients <laughs> no flour sugar <laughs> eggs <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Much we better. And we can zoom into this one and we can see where it belongs to. So you see how everything's just like everything can live anywhere and you can see anything from any single place. And just something in general that I like about like doing things in Tana this way is that you can very easily, I'm gonna use the shortcut shift out and the arrows, you can reorganize them. Oh, that's nice. So that's how I actually prioritize instead of adding too many other fields where I call it like a five-star task or anything like that. 
I yeah. just removing them as needed. Mm, you know? Nice. It's more complicated than I thought, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty advanced. But I think that also means it's more powerful. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, it's exciting. It really is. I'm interested to to put these to the test and see how it actually how it actually works and how useful it can be. Like making notes every day and then putting the, the hash browns on the tags. <laughs> the hash browns. And send it to the internet. <laughs> Put one of those hash browns at the end, you know, like hash brown team Cobra Kai or something. And then send it to the internet! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, it's awesome and it looks really nice. Yeah, it really does. It does look nice. It's, it's very clean. Yeah, like a mix between Obsidian and Notion, I would say, looks wise. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, you see, like, that's a cool thing. Like, this is like a Notion table. Right. Yeah. But it's crazy because like you can actually write things in your daily notes, which is something that Notion doesn't have, like a proper daily notes. Yes, you mm -hmm. could create it, but it would be very manual. Yeah. Whereas in here, like you literally write absolutely everything on the daily note. Like if you see my daily note, like it's just like a billion things and it doesn't matter like I just don't care I just throw it all in there mm -hmm. and then later I filter anything I need I tag it accordingly yeah. I add fields and I can create all types of stuff without worrying where things go that's really nice actually because I like for work at least mm -hmm. I'll have a notebook and I'll just write down everything I have to do that day yeah. but then obviously like it's very hard to search in a notebook exactly. I'm like oh, where did I write that <laughs> thing down and I literally write down everything that comes into my mind so like tasks right. and other stuff and it's essentially like what you're doing there except you can then search for it and find it and categorize it a lot better yeah. and like move it around a lot more advanced and a lot more useful yeah okay okay let's see what the fuss is about <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean everyone's just going crazy online myself included because like tana really changes things like it's you know yesterday we watched this film and the, and the guy said like i'm just waiting for the technology to catch up to my idea you know i just want to throw things somewhere and then find them yeah that's the basic thing that everyone wants just like not worry too much about organization initially throw it anywhere and then later categorize it better adding more tags more fields and you can just find it anywhere yeah definitely you just outline all your thoughts like crazy you just put anything anywhere mm -hmm. and then you just find it is there a mobile app yeah yeah well so actually you can go to app.tana.inc on the mobile phone but mm -hmm. it's still not very responsive they're working on it as okay. of right now like october 2022 yeah but fair enough they do have plans to make it way better and yeah i mean it already kind of works but it's just not very responsive well it is responsive it's just like not perfectly laid out mm -hmm. right but it will be better and i'm really looking forward to that because yeah that be great super good for like task management being able to do yeah. it on your phone and then just have it on the computer is yeah for sure yeah right now i write it in another app and then when i'm in the computer i move it all to tana manually yeah okay it's not too bad like we're, just beta. we're in beta we're we'll in beta give them a break yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um what if you're like at uni and you need to write an essay yeah how would you then incorporate that into this or would you oh that's i mean <laughs> i literally been on all the community forums and ever just asking like what if you wanted to write an essay would you do any tenor? like literally oh, really? like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what if you want to write a full long blog post yeah. or even a book you know like a, a project that really requires a lot of writing i just don't feel bullet points are always the best way to do that right mm -hmm. and you need to do headings and so on like you can make a draft and i really think it's really powerful making for making in drafts and like adding tags to things being like oh revisit this thing adding comments to any single thing you write but yeah. when it comes to actually writing a final draft like in my case like a blog post that i would just copy paste the final version into mm -hmm. my website i still feel tana is not there yet okay so yeah that's definitely one of the few limitations that i found myself which is why i use obsidian plus tana so like i would outline things in here i would make an early draft and then the final draft i would write it somewhere else like obsidian for instance because obsidian is better for writing a yes yeah, like longer form yeah yeah text yeah, yeah but they, they do have plans to add like a document view meaning that you can zoom into something and just write more length there with paragraph breaks and stuff like that you know yeah okay. yeah no that makes sense. yeah i agree like that has been one of my few frustrations but i really think they'll fix it soon it's gonna be amazing yeah but even then you know for doing an early draft for doing all the research it's like organizing things in crazy ways in tables like it's just ridiculous like i i wish i was studying again because you can really <laughs> use like yeah like this uni. university would be amazing so yeah really cool can you connect it to more than one person's workspace oh like, yeah can you can i have like a shared 
something that you can see as well. For sure. Like, yeah, I was kind of trying to show you that. Oh, that's today. what we were going to do. Yeah. yeah but yeah, you can definitely like create like, you know, the way that you have workspaces in here. Mm -hmm. I actually you can have another. Here you have an invitation oh. to the workspace that I created. Grace and Santi. So you add that to the sidebar. It's like we have a shared one. Here it is. So mm -hmm. here's a shared one. Here's yours. You can just do move to mm -hmm. this other workspace yeah. to today. And now when I go to, actually, when you go to calendar here, you can switch calendars. And here it is the thing that I just moved. And I can see that it lives here, mm -hmm. but it was also referenced in your Grace workspace. That's, that's the basis of it, the basis of it. But you can definitely collaborate just sending things to other workspaces. And, and you have more than one it. of your own workspace. Just thinking about like your like work and home life is very mm. interlinked, whereas mine's very separated. Okay. So having like a, a personal workspace and then a and then like a, a work one okay might be an interesting option for some people it might be in some cases i think that's particularly helpful if you want to make videos like we're doing right now and you really want to make sure you filter out things that are too personal dear diary, <laughs> dear diary. <laughs> but honestly i really think it's much better to keep it all in one and just categorize things by like fields like we did like call this yeah. person call this work i i think it's better to keep it in one place and if you were to search now would it search in grace and grace and santi yes it does so like anything that you search in yeah hey you see how it says grace grace right cake yeah there it is grace and santi workspace right mm -hmm. which workspace is located but yeah. yeah awesome yeah cool all right, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to learn Tana as fast as possible, do check out my Tana course. It's gonna help you go really fast through all the fundamentals and really understand this app at its core so that you can really make the most of it. Combining workflows such as task management and your note-taking system is such a great app. I really love it and that's why I want to teach it as much as I can. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Approved by Grace? Approved by Grace. Good. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much, Grace, for taking this fine Saturday afternoon, slash evening, and then no getting problem. into this. So, thank you so much. If you want to see Grace again, just pressure her in the comments to do it again. So that'd be helpful. It's fine. I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Here's like the 20 seconds of background. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. For like news shows, at the end, they'll have like a mm. piece of paper mm. and they'll like organize the paper <laughs> and laugh with each other. <laughs> <laughs>